Well, it's that time again. It's update time for the Surface Duo devices. But this time, it's a little different. This time, it's Android 12 L. Before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you to all 1,100 of my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed already, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It helps the channel out and lets me know that I'm making content that you guys want to see. And with that, let's get into it. All right, so we're going to jump right into this and take a look at some of the aesthetics that you'll see on the new Surface Duo. Now, right off the bat, and this is true with the Surface Duo and Surface Duo 2, you can see that I've got a new widget. Now, this particular widget's the clock widget. And as you can see, there are several new widgets available for the Surface Duo and Surface Duo 2. I put the Material U clock on there, and you can get that in analog and digital, at digital, ov ov digital ovular in two different directions. Um, you can also put a stopwatch on there. And then if you go down all the way to the bottom, which is going to take some scrolling, you can see that I've got almost there. The YouTube music widget. I have that in the round record aesthetic the way I like it. And moving on from that, if I can. Now, moving on from that, we've got a lot of changes. And you can see aesthetically, the, all of the icons and all of the menu options now have the option to take on the color scheme of your background. As you can see, I've got a blue background. So all of my icons are now blue. That's pretty cool. But everything in the phone now looks a lot like Windows 11. I really like this new aesthetic, and there are some really cool features, kind of hidden, kind of not hidden, in this new update. And again, these updates apply to both phones. One of the coolest things I found that you can do, and I, I could be wrong, but I don't think this was possible before. Now, you can plug the phone into a monitor, or in my case, a docking station, and you can use the phone with a keyboard and a mouse and just have it show up on a monitor. But as some others have pointed out, there are things in the developer options that will allow you to enable an entire remote desktop situation. I'm gonna show you that real quick. So we go to our settings, we go to our system and go to our developer options. And you scroll all the way down here and you can see that there's this force desktop mode as an option. So if we click that, and then I plug this into a docking station, you'll get another desktop. And if you have a copy of Windows 10 Pro, I'm assuming on the same network, I'm not really sure how that part works, but you'll be able to see a lot more than I can see up here, which is a clock and a, a bar at the bottom. That's all I could get it to do. If you wanna see a little bit more in depth video on what this can do, check out Shane over at Scary If Literal, and he's got a very well fleshed out video on how this remote desktop situation works. Now you've seen the Surface Duo 2, and you know that I have the original Surface Duo. How does the OG Surface Duo fare in this new Android 12 L update? Well, I'll tell you so far, it's been really good. I've actually not had any issues with the screen not flipping the way it's supposed to, or it locking in certain positions, or screens even blanking out when they're not supposed to, or even screens not blanking out, or blanking out when they're not supposed to, it's actually worked quite nicely. And I've had people on Twitter and YouTube ask me, you know, is this a really good time to pick up a Surface Duo? Well, if you want a really good productive phone, if you want a really good device for productivity, and you want it really cheap, the Surface Duos are now, 
I think I think you can find them for a couple hundred bucks online. And with the new Android 12 L update, they're really snappy. I put my main SIM in the Surface Duo 2, and I've got my secondary SIM in the Surface Duo, and I've been carrying them both around. And they're quite comparable in their responsiveness. Um, I did a little comparison opening YouTube videos the other day, and they were right on course. As a matter of fact, I ended up at one point getting the videos to sync together, which was pretty cool. But I just wanted to put out a really quick video. I'm not feeling that great right now. So I wanted to put out a quick video to show you some of the neat things that I found in playing around with the Surface Duo and Surface Duo 2 on Android 12 L. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And if you have any questions or comments, please, as always, leave them down below. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I have making it. My name is Bryant. This is Reviews for Nerds. Thank you and have a great day.